Break into this heat. <laughs> All part of Penguin's plan, I'm sure. The question is, can Tracy stop him before he gets to the ports? I ain't that worried about it. Tracy? Just who is he?
Encino. Penguin's assistant must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find Cobblepot's office. Even with this pass, I can't open this door. I need to find a way into that security room to access the theater.
work in this machine, and there weren't a damn thing she could do about it. Like that, huh? Yeah, like that. Ain't like she's making enough she can tell me what to do. Yeah, you're right. You can't let him get the upper hand. That's what my dad always said. Of course, Mom would slap him right after. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kill this son of a bitch! See, I told you. Not to worry. Last guy's probably scared him off. <laughs> yeah. What's it gonna take? Deep in it. Candy! <sighs> She's earned herself a dry slap, she has. That better be lip gloss you're reaching for. I knew you didn't have what it takes to fight me fair! Come on! Enough's enough! Open her up and let me out!
now cold, done, finished, a dying empire. Honor. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. You call me meek? Meek. It's from the Bible. I ain't never read that. <laughs> but if you're the praying type, maybe you should shut your mouth before your boss tells my boss what he wants to know. The phone is going to be. What do you guys say? Swimming. Swimming with the fishes? Oh, that's original. You think of that yourself, you local ass? One. What do you want? I didn't do nothing. Who's your boss? What does Penguin want with him? Alberto Falcone, but I got no idea what Penguin wants with him, I swear. Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Tried to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see, psychotic little bastard. No, you best listen, Falcone. Cause this is the last time I'll ask. What are you gonna tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. 
I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I want to hear. You idiots better kill me, please! Don't hurt me! We kill you! Kick his arse, you numpty prats! Come on now! Remind me why I pay you boxes! Kill him, you bloody wankers! Get him! What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the personal invitation? I'm still standing with the worst! Punch him in the face! Don't st- Now hold on! Hold on a bloody minute! I've seen your act! I ain't done nothing you've not done! Black Mask, put a bounty on my head. Where is he? I don't keep tabs on him in Giza with a grudge. You're not a popular bloke in this town. You're running out of time. Wait, wait. <coughs> Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his same house. Or Black Mask. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there. I'm not playing games, Slade. Tell me where I can find Black Mask. Vigilantism? A waste of your talent. Not that it... Take 
me. Tool I took from Deathstroke to grab. There's 
no way I can get to Penguin now. My only option is to head for Lacey Towers and investigate the murder he mentioned. Alfred, see if you can find any information on a murder at Lacey Towers. Hmm, looks like the police are on the scene now, sir. No. And this is interesting. They're saying Black Mask is the victim. Black Mask dead. I'm on my way there now. Looks like I can use the remote claw I took from Deathstroke. Alfred, get GCPD to take a look at the final offer. More to Dixon Docks. They'll find Slade Wilson tied up and waiting for them. Along with some of Penguin's illegally obtained weapons. Uh, another anonymous pip? Will do, sir. Oppressed citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am anarchy, voice of the people, here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed! Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of propaganda and consumerist garbage. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops destroy all the evidence from the crime scene Penguin mentioned. I was hoping to get a minute of your time. See, I've got a story to tell you about crime and violence, greed and vengeance. But it's also a story of redemption. Oh, easy now. I ain't looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. Corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. For you, either detonate or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do. What's up with the boss's umbrella guy?
won't matter. What do you mean? investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. It's the back! Call in 064! Smoke with a menace. 
those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. What a shut case. Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friend. I mean, we found the bastard's stubby little fingerprints right by the bodies. Yeah, we got Penguin. Pickens on the loop, but none of the glory. Police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room. These prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, 
who did. The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. 
Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have are more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful, non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted.